And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to align and distribute objects. So we've got a little bit of text, some simple rectangles and a path. Let us go to object and align and distribute. And we've got this new menu opened. The most important area that we need to focus on first is to drop down under relative to. By default, it should be set to selection area. And we've got lots of more options. We're going through some of them. Page and drawing are self-explanatory, I would say. But the rest is dependent on the objects that you've created. So let me shift click on these four rectangles. And the last one is this turquoise. So if I pick last selected, this is going to be our anchor. And the anchor is somewhat orange in this menu, while the other ones are bluish. So if I click on the first one, we can see that the turquoise will be our anchor and everything will be aligned to the left side of the anchor. So the right side of the bluish ones will get snapped or aligned to the left side of the orange one. So in this case, the orange one is obviously our turquoise. So if I change that to first selected, the orange one is now our pink rectangle and that changes what the distribution does. There are other options, for example, biggest and smallest object. And if we look at what we've got here, we can see that our turquoise one is the biggest and the smallest is the pink. And if you cycle through this first line, you can see you can align them to the inside, the outside, and obviously the center. So this is what this first line does. Let me press Ctrl Z. I'll change that to smallest object. And now the pink one is our anchor, so the orange in the menu. And all of the rest will be the blue ones in the menu and we can cycle through them again. The second one does the same, but this time we're going to align it in the vertical. And you can see when I use the drop down to select selection area as our reference for the alignment and I click multiple times. On this vertical alignment, you can see that it moves downwards. And the reason why is simply that it takes the lower edge, in this case the lower edge, of the selection area and thus it moves everything downwards. So let me press Ctrl Z until we've arrived here again. You also got two text options right there. So let me align them as well. So if I select all of them, align them, they're all set to the left hand side. The second option gives us a baseline in the horizontal axis. So the second group of objects here in this menu are to distribute. We can use these object distribute functions. They sometimes work on text quite well, but obviously it's better to use the text functions itself as they treat the baseline of the text and don't treat these text elements as objects. Let me select the rectangles again and use that. So it's a simple distribute function where you can see that the space of the selected area is split up, in this case in four equal parts, because we've got these four objects. 
we can distribute our objects quite well with this function. An interesting tool is this randomize function. So we can click on it multiple times and we've created random distributions. We can remove the overlaps, which is also a function that's quite interesting. If we set all the values to zero and click on it, everything will be put next to each other. Well, let me increase that. It's the H is horizontal, obviously, and the V for vertical. And let me make that even bigger, 100. It's set in pixels. And you can now see we've got these overlaps not only removed, but we've also created a distance of 100 pixels between the objects horizontally and vertically. So the other options, uh, let me use this one to exchange and you can see it rotates clockwise. So uh, just focus on the turquoise one, it moves in a clockwise direction. The other options, we will talk about that in future tutorials when there are necessary and specific effects. But let me talk about the path that I've created and we need the node tool for that. And I select only the first two nodes on the left hand side and use the first function. It creates a straight line. And places them both to the center. So if I select the three from the left hand side and now use that function. I've got a straight line that goes from the first to the third node. You can also do that vertically, so not horizontally. And you've got a straight line from top to bottom. And again, it uses the center position of all of these nodes to create the reference point. We can also distribute them. So if we look at what I've created here, the first distance is smaller than the second. So the second node will be moved to the right hand side to equalize the distance between one and two and two and three. When you look at the nodes, you can also do that in the vertical direction. So once again, one to two is smaller than two to three. And if we use this function, you can see that the first node is moved downwards to equalize the distance. So now one to two is the same as two to three. And these are the basics of how to use the alignment and distribute menu. As I've said, we will be using that in future tutorials and I will talk about the remaining functions here. And when you know the basics, you're already good to go to use Inkscape effectively. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.